Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at inequalities and how to solve in equations. So first of all, what is an inequality? Um, you might have seen things like 5 is greater um, than 3, for example. Well, hopefully we remember that is what we refer to as an inequality sign because it's not just equal to, or in this case it's not equal to, um, it is greater than. So 5 is greater than 3. And you also remember sometimes we might put that uh, little line underneath there, which means that uh, it is now greater than or equal to 3. So what is an inequation? Well, instead of having something like x plus 3 equals 7, where you might solve that by taking the 3 away and saying x is equal to 4, that's an equation. So what is an in equation well it's where we have that same sort of um, equation I guess x plus 3 but instead of having an equal sign we put in a greater than sign or a less than sign so now this time if I solve it now this is a trick we solve it exactly the same way as it, you would any other equation I'm going to subtract the 3 and put it to the right hand side so I get x is greater than 4 so the issue is here the first sort of one x only equaled 4 Okay, and then you had that one solution where in the second one here, um, we have x is greater than 4. So it could be numbers like 4.1, 4.2, could be 10, could be 1,000. It has a range of values. Now, most of the questions when you get them, they will also ask you to plot this information onto a number line. Um, I, I'm going to put my 4 in the middle because that's my solution, I guess. 3, 2, 1. I'm going to put some numbers on the other side, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. Now, in the first example, x equaled 4, you would generally put your dot right there, okay, because x equaled 4. However, in this case, it doesn't actually equal 4. What it is, it's greater than 4. So I'm going to put a hollow dot. Now, I'm going to keep it hollow because it doesn't actually equal 4. We only colored all the way in, like the last example, if it does equal 4. And I'm now going to put an arrow and point to the right-hand side, um, which now shows that x is a value of anything to the right-hand side of 4. Okay? So I hope you have a bit of an idea about how to solve an equation, or an inequation, should I say. Okay? Again, this is an inequality or an inequation because we have that greater than sign. So you might want to pause this and now have a go yourself. So how'd you end up? Now, like any other equation, I've got a 5 and I've got a 3, or a plus 3, that I want to get rid of. I want to have at the end of it, x is greater than something. Okay, so I'm going to take this 3. That's the easiest one to get rid of. That's most by itself. So I now rewrite it or clean it up. 5x is greater than 10. Now, a times is holding the 5 next together. So the opposite of times 5 is divided by 5. So x is less than, so x is greater than 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I've now got my solution. It has asked me to put this onto a number line. So I'm going to draw my number line there. I'm going to put 2 in the middle, because that's where my solution is, and then put a couple of numbers either side. It doesn't really matter how many numbers you put, as long as your number that you're putting your solution on will be there. Now, once again, it doesn't equal 2, so I'm just going to have a hollow dot, and it's greater than 2. So I'm going to point it to the right-hand side. Now, you should be used to solving these equations and pretty fancy equations now. So when we come to the in equations, we just do it the same way. Okay, pause this one and have a go at this question. Okay, so hopefully you recognize here that the 4 was the most by itself. It was downstairs, if we call call the, uh, the house the equation. Um, the opposite of divide by 4 would be times by 4. I'm going to clean it. So 3x take away 2 is less than or equal to 16. I'm now going to get rid of the minus 2. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So I get 3x is less than or equal to 18. Now the way I can get rid of the 3 in this case is divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 18 divided by 3 is 6, so I get x is less than or equal to 6. So once again, we've solved it the exact same way that we would on any other type of equation. I have been asked to uh, put this on a number line. Actually, I wasn't asked to put this on a number line, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
I'm gonna put the six in the middle, a five, a four, a seven, and an eight. I'm now gonna plot this on the number line. Now, notice for this particular question that I'm going to color that dot in because unlike the last two examples, it equals six as well as being less than six. Okay, so it could be six, five, four, three, two, one, etc., etc. So I'm now going to point my diagram to the left hand side because the solutions are all the numbers that are less than six. Okay. And I think we've got one last one here. This is a bit more um, of an advanced question. But again, you've done equations with double sides. So have a go at this question and see how you go. Okay, so hopefully you recognize I'm going to take the one to the right-hand side or subtract one from both sides. I want to get the letters on the same side. So I'm going to take the two and put on the left-hand side. So I'm going to take 2a away from both sides. I've now got 3a take away 2a, which is just 1a is less than or equal to 5 take away 1 is 4 and I've hit my solution fairly quickly so I'm now going to draw my number line I'm going to put my numbers on there I'm going to whack 4 in the middle then 3 and 2 5 and 6 I'm going to drop my dot right on the 4 I'm also going to color that dot in because it does say that it's less than or equal to so I'm now going to point to the left hand side which shows that my values of A are less than and equal to that number four. Look, I hope this made a bit of sense to you. Have a go at the questions that I've set for today's lesson. Um, any problems, please let me know. These are basic inequalities, and then uh, we'll go through the second video um, in, in a little while. Thanks, guys.